here we go. Another spice storm. This one's gonna be the Lord Atomy Shadowcraft. We're on two tyrant. This one is beautiful, of course. Uh, one Ektar just to catch up on board if we need to. Kind of win in the late game. You know, all the standard stuff. Of course, you need Elta. Can't not run Elta. Because if you have, just like, it's so good. Like, uh, turn three if you play uh, Frozen Mammoth. You have this on board. Go into turn five, you can play Elta. And you can play Voices of Resentment. That gives you four on board. And you would just evolve Elta, because you know that you're going to have the Evo point. It's turn, you know, it's turn five. So if you're going first, then you're definitely going to have it. If you're going second, then you're definitely going to have it. So then you just drop an Atomy, and then you trade in a Ghost. You can drop an Atomy. You can trade in the other Ghost, and you can drop a third Atomy all in one turn. It's pretty great. It's probably not going to work. But, you know, why not, right? <laughs> so we're pretty well off in A1. I didn't actually know I was this far in, but let's, let's hit A2 with this deck, right? How are we going to lose? We got Mordecai as the leader. <laughs> so let's see. Shadowcraft, okay. So I'm guessing this is going to be aggro shadow or you know, some form of... Because, you know, why wouldn't it be? We're in ranked. Obviously, got to greet your opponent in the best way possible. Skull beast. All right, can I get a skull beast? I'd like one. Nope. Yeah, I forgot to talk about this. Goblin princess, really good. Puts three on board, and you know, it uh, gives a bunch of shadows for the tyrant as well. does suck that he went first, though. I'm probably gonna get fucked. Yep. Um. Uh. Shit. I think it's a bad idea to play this. But. Make sure I have something on board. I guess. Because there's no way that he's going to trade into that, so I might be able to get my Atomy off next turn. Depends on what I get. If I get like a Voices of Res, then that would be amazing. Wow, this guy has a disgusting hand. Voices of Res? Uh, no, but that still works, actually. My heart in a verse. This is actually way better. Please lend me your ears. <laughs> Open and the one and the two. Have to kill those just to prevent as much damage as we can. Next turn I can catacombs. Hmm. I have lethal on board, so he has to trade unless he can kill me first. Let's see, he's got 3, 4, 5, 6 damage. I'm at 11. Yep, he's trading. Oh, he probably wants to play Serb. Or Orthus, that works too. Hits that. I think that he might just evolve trade. Hmm. Nope, he's definitely going face. Trying to just spread out. Uh, damage. <sighs> Too off lethal. Um, can I stop him? Is the question. Voices res? That doesn't work either. 
I think Voices of Res is my only out. I got the Atomy Muff. That was good. Uh, that was good. I lost because Aggro Shadow is fair and balanced, but... Let's move on, I guess. I'm surprised how, like... I don't know. I'm not higher up in levels. I play classes pretty pretty evenly, so I get like I, I think I'm above 50 on all of them, except for Forest, which is funny because I play Forest the, the most, or at least it's my favorite class. I don't know if I play it the most. I'll keep those. Um, Burial Grounds is nice if I can get two Atomies in hand and. Uh, And a, uh, oh, why are people so anti-fun? Um, and a frozen mammoth. This will go well, I think. Baphomet. Am I playing against snakes? I might be. It is good that I have first Evo, but at the same time he is going first and he's playing an aggro deck. So I probably just lose straight up. I might have to just use my voices to catch up on board. Yeah, he's playing snakes. Um, so let's just use voices to catch up. No point in putting the damage on it. So next turn I could Elta and Spartoy. And that would give me Atomy. Come on, game. You know you want to give me an Atomy. Come on. Come on. Fuck off. Alright, so I kinda just wanna do this. I think I will. Go face. Soul conversion. Uh, that sucks. Uh, I think I might have to play the uh, the win by. Oh, you know what? He he didn't play Baphomet. Not not one. Not one that gave a discount. I don't have to worry about snakes. Plus he already played two Baphomets, so the chances of having a third one is not likely. Rev, sure. If you feel that board was revable, you may rev all you like. I think this board is more revable, honestly. But you don't have vengeance for this board. Sadistic Knight. Six damage to a follower. Damn. Hmm. I don't really want Actar. But at the same time, I think I have to, right? Do I have to? Vengeance is inactive, it'll only deal four. I think I just play that. Play an Elta. My heart in the verse. Go face. I think that sets up for I guess it doesn't quite set up for Tyrant next turn. But it could. Um 
He dealt two damage to himself. I have an Evo up. Yeah, I could quite easy if I top deck like, Spar Toy Sergeant, uh, and he kills off my board. I easily just win. Oh, that's no fun. So I'm taking six. So I need to find a way to win, um, which I don't have. And a one, and a two. So voices of res will have to. I guess I just have to hope he doesn't have it. Because if he doesn't have it, I have it. Uh, come on, man. You know that you don't have it. What the fuck? God. Really? Really? Ugh. I really wish that I didn't have the lurching corpse there. That was awful. I just shouldn't have played it. That lurching corpse screwed me over. So hard. Because I would have been able to evolve Elta and prevent that, but I had to trade in the Elta and I couldn't trade in the Lurching. <sighs> yeah. Oh, whatever. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Not like I could have done anything anyway. Let the duel begin. Mother, father, come on. Out of me. Nice. Playful Necro. Okay, so. Uh, I guess I'm only hoping for Frozen Mammoth here. Oh god. He's going first. Please don't have a one drop. Thank god. That's not a Frozen Mammoth. I really want a Frozen Mammoth. Like, really badly. That's not a frozen mammoth. But it sure could draw me one, so let's hope it does. Ow, it's my face. Unica? Oh uh, yeah. Do I trade into Unica? Yeah. I need damage. There's no way he's killing this, so next turn I can just playful necromancer evolve out of me. Has What's up? Cool. Watch me, miss. Prepare yourself. Uh. Yes, I'm coming Perfect. for you. Sucks I have to go face please though. <laughs> I always get scared with that because I it looks like Adamy banishes himself. I'm like, oh god, no, why? Serb? Sure. Evolve double trade. Maybe he'll just go face. Nope, trading. You see, I'm only getting stronger. <laughs> uh, he does have enough shadows for Soul Squasher, but I feel like I'm the only person in the world that runs this card, so I think I'm gonna be okay. Enough talking again. I think that's a good idea. I should just not talk, like ever. So what are you hiding inside? Now I'm like super disappointed Dance and angry. This game sucks. <laughs> so, on the bright side, if he doesn't kill either of them, I win the game. 
so I got that going for me. Oh. He didn't have enough shadows. Ha ha. God damn it, the only game I win. It's because I'm playing mid shadow. Womp womp. At least I got the Atomium off, right? <laughs> That was fun. Um, yeah, there, there's the there's the list here. I'll pull up a more precise list. There you go. It's it's way fun. Never actually saw the Minth. She's not very useful. She's basically just for turn ten tyrant combos, which almost never happen because you die before then. <laughs> Or if she somehow f survives the turn and you play around like five or something, go into Deathly Titan. That's yeah, that's her only use. But yeah, gotta love this guy. Pretty cool. Um, here's the rest of my decks. You can tell me which one to play next time. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should delete these. These don't really apply anymore. Yeah, but there you go.